The city of Tyler says major traffic flow improvements are coming to some of the city's busiest intersections, they say. I'm going to start clocking this right now. <laughs> now, KTK's Rachel Hackbarth explains which areas should be seeing some improvements. It's been a bit nuts. We've all been there before, frustrated sitting in Tyler traffic. Yeah, I've been to other places where the, the lights seem to be way shorter and way better time. It feels like you are hitting every red light up and down Broadway. It's an issue that city leaders have noticed, and on Wednesday, they agreed to retime 18 of their busiest intersections. And, and traffic has been one of the number one complaints from citizens for, for, for the last six years plus, plus today. Back in April 2019, the city of Tyler hired out Dallas firm Kimley Horn & Associates to review our traffic signal system. After reviewing the results of that year-long study, council members voted to move forward with a $108,000 contract to implement their suggested changes. Oh, and the plan is about 15 per year, but it's kind of like a ball of yarn. As you start unwinding it, you got to find a good <laughs> stopping spot. So that's why we have 18. Areas that will have their lights retimed include Broadway and Grande, Troop Highway and Loop 323, Loop 323 and University Boulevard. So you spend less time like this and more time without your foot on the brake. Rachel Hackbarth, KETK News. Areas like Broadway Avenue and Cumberland Road, Loop 323 and Paluxy and Grande Boulevard and Sutherland, yes, are also included in this project. Something to keep in mind, though, while those major streets will be seeing better traffic flow, they say expect slower delays on smaller streets like <laughs> Houston or Shiloh. If you'd like to take a closer look at the full list of the intersections, have faith, my friends. It's on our website, k2k.com.